Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive in a 2008 and earlier 15-inch MacBook Pro. We've already gathered our materials, have shut down and unplugged the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro, flip it over, and remove the battery. You can now remove these three Phillips screws which hold the memory cover in place. Then, remove the cover itself. Next, we'll need to remove these two Torx T6 screws which were hidden by the memory cover. Finally, turn your MacBook Pro around and remove these two Phillips screws inside the battery bay. Now we can proceed with removing the screws from the outside of the computer. Start with these four Phillips screws on the bottom along the hinge edge. These screws are longer than the other Phillips screws and help hold things together. On the side with the power adapter, you'll find four more Phillips screws which need to be removed. There are four more on the opposite side as well. Finally, remove the two screws along either side of the hinge. Set your MacBook Pro down on your work surface and open up the screen so it's just past vertical. Starting from the back, gently lift up along the edges, lifting up until it feels like it's stuck. At this point, use your nylon tool to loosen the clips all the way around. You'll likely feel the most resistance along the front edge. You may even hear some audible pops as the clips are released. Once you've loosened the entire lid, carefully lift up from the front edge. Underneath, you'll see a ribbon cable connecting the keyboard to the logic board. Disconnect the cable from its connector on the board and you can set the lid aside. The hard drive is located in the front left corner. First, we'll need to disconnect the hard drive SATA ribbon cable. Next, remove these two Phillips screws that hold the drive retainer in place. The first should be easy to see. The second one is located underneath some wires, which may make removing it somewhat tricky. Once the screws have been removed, carefully detach the ribbon cable from the top of the hard drive. Some model MacBook Pros will have the Bluetooth unit next to the hard drive as well. If yours has this module, lift it up and out of its channel. You should now be able to lift the drive out of the bay and detach it from its connector. Now we just need to remove the mounting hardware from the drive itself. The metal retainer on the right should simply slide off. Finally, remove the four Torx T6 screws and the gaskets they hold in, and you're ready to install the new drive. You can install either a standard 2.5 inch hard drive or a 2.5 inch solid state drive in the drive bay. For this installation, we're installing a standard hard drive. First, attach the mounting screws and gaskets to the new drive in the same places as the original. 
Next, attach the retainer bar in the same position it was before, then reattach the SATA connector and slide the drive into place. You can now secure the drive retainer using the two Phillips screws. Then, replace the Bluetooth unit in its spot if you have one, and see if you can re-stick the ribbon cable to the drive. It's okay if there's not enough adhesive, though. Finally, reattach the hard drive ribbon cable to the logic board. We are now ready to close up. First, reattach the keyboard cable to its spot on the logic board. Then, set the top cover back into place starting along the front edge. Gently but firmly push along the front edge to re-engage the clips. As you work your way along the sides, make sure that the metal tabs that hang down all go inside the case. If they don't, you should be able to gently coax them back into place using your nylon tool. Double check to make sure no edges are sticking out or up, then close the cover. The first set of screws to replace are the two by the hinge. The next four screws are along the side with the DVI connector. Be careful not to accidentally put the screws in the DVI connector as they will be unable to be removed. Then replace the four screws along the edge with the power supply. Finally, set the MacBook Pro face down and replace the four long screws along the hinge edge of the bottom. Turn the MacBook Pro around and replace the two screws in the battery bay. Once you've replaced the battery compartment screws, you can replace the two Torx T6 screws near the memory slots. Then replace the memory cover and secure it with the three wide-capped Phillips screws. Finally, you can replace the battery. You can now flip your MacBook Pro over, plug it in, open it up, and turn it on.